and, and hear me clearly when I say this, y'all. The fact that they, that they got this thing about themselves, they want to come out with something new. When they have to straighten out what's going on with the old, that what leads to my opinion even bigger problems. Cause you want to create technologies that's more bigger, that has the potential to create problems that could be uh much larger. <laughs> Hey folks, this is D-Load2894, that's the end of another video. So this all comes from readwrite.com. Four big ways AI will disrupt software testing. So this article came out recently. So AI in software testing is growing more common and for good reason. While today artificial intelligence is primarily used for automation and convenience, the technology grows smart and more effective every day in software testing. AI can be used to urge with many with, with repetitive tasks. This both speed up and evolve process improve accuracy. Aggression testing is one example. Anytime software code chains aggressive testing are performed, ensure the application are still functioning as intended. This is often done manually. However, AI can automate this entire process by checking at various input for issues with the application after a code change. AI won't be taken over completely, but it will certainly disrupt the traditional software testing. Here's how. Normally, manual aggression testing requires a lot of time and effort from testing and developers. Every time software code chains testing must be kept carried out on the result application. It, it warrants a back and forth between developers and testers. Or if they are not testing, it calls for developers to wear many hats. AI solution can completely automate this, this process, carrying out the testing almost immediately. After any code is altered, provided it's trained it correction, the AI is always going to be faster more effective and more accurate than your manual testing. Moreover, developers will get the testing results and related data sooner, allowing them to be excuse me, to begin working on necessary fits instantly. Or if no issue are detected, they can move on to other areas of development faster. See, one common thing I'm seeing already, they, 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 they always looking for a way to try to move things along, but doing it in a more faster pace. And see, in my opinion, this is what part of the, this is what part of the problem now. Why are you trying to move everything, why are you trying to move everything so fast? Do, do these people ever start to think about not everything in this world was designed to be fast? Some stuff you're going to actually have to take your time in developing? Hmm. Maybe, maybe that's why you got so many problems now. I mean, just think about that. Just saying. Okay, let's get back to this. Adding another layer to this, AI can make regression testing better over time as it grows smarter. The regression testing cycle becomes much more reliable as a result. Let me just do that a little bit here. A majority element of software testing is to make sure that the code or application themselves are up to part and perform at expected level. So a large part of testing is seeking 
out bug and other software issue and fix them. Okay. Even the most skilled developer can miss certain or uh, coding error, especially in a large scale project. But while modern programming tool can pinpoint basic mistakes, that the natural language issue of often ignore until they discover it at the one in time. AI is software that can be used to detect those errors by finding fault and faults and bugs. Machine learning MA rely on natural language processing, NLP training data, and pre-programming scanning tool to locate potential issues and flag them for review. Better yet, AI can be used to direct inject new code if and when the fits are more obvious it saves time and money and a lot of headache. With early fault and bug detection and more supported regression testing, developer and testing can expect some serious productivity only across the board. With the help of AI machine learning system, many of these roles Tasks associated with the velvet can be sped, sped up, urgent, or taken or directly be an automatic solution. You know what, based on what I'm reading so far, hmm, you know what? It's a good question for you. For those who, who gonna see this video or happen to look at this video, based on why I read so far, I still got a lot more reading, but based on what you hear so far, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna propose a question. Do you think they're going to use this AI in a way to help solve the problem that's going on with these vehicles? Or uh, what's going on with, with these uh, uh, machinery or tools or anything like that? Do you think that they're going to use AI to help avoid a lot of the problems that they've been having? Because in my opinion, that's what come, come to mind uh, when, I, when it comes to this offer, that will come to mind. I would be surprised if they use this AI to try to avoid some of these recall problems when it comes to cars or anything else out there in the world. That's, that's just my warm opinion and what I think could happen or the way they may do with this AI. But let me continue to read because uh, uh, there's some more here. So this is not this is not unlikely what we see in other dust industrial where AI is increasing use of power robotic process automation, intelligent auto automation, IA and more. For instance, com communication between team and department, it is usually administered to weight of application testing. Now, it, it can be handled by automatic solution whether the manual send the information taken however long the related contact with the information can be shared immediately with all parties. The same benefit is extended to just about all process and solution that AI touches. AI and ML able what called self-healing technology or self-healing code. Not only can AI identify the tech language issue faster than human, but when empowered by the appropriate resource, it can also fix the code faster than ever. Early bug and fault detection is just the start. 
AI solution can actually inject code fits for a common issue or they could be a witness to fix more complex problems when they know what to look for or look for and how to react. Better yet, as we generally see with the ML, ML the self-healing algorithm become more accurate and more representative of what codes over time. Merlin thought that ingesting or more information. This means that when developer change code and it breaks the software, the AI will immediately take over and fix the problem. It reduces the amount of time developers and testers have to spend looking for those problems, but also is significant cut down on general troubleshoot. You know what I was waiting for, and this is me, I was waiting for the people to do the um testing and spending and spend looking for the problem. I would have had that happen in the, the allowance AI. Because at least, at least with the people, you could be more uh more more comfortable knowing that they are doing the work to find the problem than have some artificial intelligence when uh, uh artificial test that you can't really trust or don't even know if it's working well enough. And the reason why I say that because you got some artificial tests that they they don't they don't, that they don't got here already and they got some issues I would say. Not all artificial testing intelligence stuff working perfectly. You got some got some issues. Just like everything else got some issues. But the problem with that is this. It, it made more sense for for these people to straighten out the things they already got out here. Straighten those things out for before you start coming out here with new stuff. See, that's the only thing that, that kind of make map, map these people out here. They would have come out making some new stuff when the old stuff that you got here already is already is, is already uh, got problems and flaws. It's not a hundred percent perfect, and it's not a hundred percent safe. So, being that fact, why you want to come out and make come out with something else? And the fact. And, and hear me clearly when I say this, y'all. The fact that they, that they got this thing about themselves, they want to come out with something new. When they have to straighten out what's going on with the old, that what leads to my opinion even bigger problems. Because you want to create technologies that's more bigger, that has the potential. To create problems that could be uh much larger. Understand what I'm saying? You want to create something that 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 people don't know if it going to be up the part or it's going to necessarily be accurate, like they claim it's going to be. They don't they don't know how this uh. AI artificial testing going to do completely. Now it may, this artificial testing may spend maybe a couple of years um, maybe close to a decade being, being good and accurate but you don't know what's going to actually happen later on down the line and that to me is a problem. It would be no different than all the other stuff that's out here. Yeah, that, that's the, the stuff that you got here now, yeah, it's good, but, it, uh, but it's equally got problems. And in some cases, it got problems that it, 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 that it, it, um, it got problems that necessarily they shouldn't be having. Yeah, you got those situations too. Yeah, these things out here got problems that they really shouldn't be having at all, but somehow they do. So, and I feel like this uh, artificial test would be no different. 
don't know why for the life of me can't figure out why these people want to come out with something new when you didn't even take your time out to straighten out the stuff you all got out here now. Why don't you correct what you was correct the problem of what you got or what you don't quit and got here now before you come out with something new? That that's the most common sense thing to do. But here we are. And I'm not saying that artificial uh, artificial intelligence cannot be uh, good or cool, but it's the roots of it all. You got to look at the to me. You have to look at the roots of it all, and you got to look at the history of everything. Understand what I'm saying? You got to look at the history of everything, and history will show you that everything that uh, has been created, yeah, it's yeah, it may serve its purpose. But equally got problems that it shouldn't be having. So when you look at the factors, and everything you, you, that, that, that's what kind of put me on edge with this uh, AI. Okay, but let me uh, continue. Thanks to pro, uh, productivity enchantment from the smart and more effective process, AI and software tester has the potential to distribute the file manual tasks that require a lot of time and effort to and effort can be spearheaded almost entirely by the automation. Through AI, also early bird detection can be handled by the NLP tool. Who self healing code ensures software applications always work at at one at times. All of this reduces time spent on troubleshooting and manual bug detection. This benefit will um, positive distribute software testing, and we couldn't be happy about it. So, there you have it, folks. Yeah, uh, yeah. This is what they was talking. This is what they were talking about. The four bit ways of AI with a strip yourself and test it. But like I said earlier, I'm not saying this AI cannot be good or cool or serve a purpose. But we got to be aware and got to be. Uh, be realistic about these things. But as I pointed out earlier, they have things, they have, they have, there's been technology that we created before in the past, and it served a purpose, but it came with a whole lot of problems. So, my question is this this AI, do you think that? It's going to be another. Oh, excuse me. Do you think that AI will be become one of many many uh, technologies that serve a purpose and interest in group, but will come with a lot of problems? Or do you think uh, this will be the one technology that will actually go uh, full throttle without any problem at all? Well, at least let me say this: we're not probably we're not consistent. Probably let me say that because all uh, all technology have these little uh, kinks. But let me just say this: not have have a consistent problem because all the other technology that came out before had a uh, problem that stayed consistent. And for me, I feel like AI somewhere down the line could. Potentially be no different than the other technology that's out here. I mean, that's how I feel about it because I got, I, and I'm, I'm saying that based off the history because they want to come out with stuff and don't properly evaluate what's going on with it, with the technology. 
and who to say uh, that the people who quit this AI, who to say they didn't properly uh, invest in the, uh, this technology and see was it really uh, was it really good enough to uh, be uh, used or created? Because. Now the things that have been created over the years and it done and it, and it actually done more harm than good. And I just personally feel that AI will be no different. But you can tell me what you feel about it in the comment section. Leave your comments down below and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share this video if you really enjoy it. And I'll see y'all next time. I'm out.